with the face, Blade you here. And today, I'm gonna to be using Oz Shaving Company, Yellow Brick Road. Really like this, this is a great scent. Mmm, really, really great. If you've never tried them before, uh, give them a shot. Um, I've had this in the cabinet for a while and uh, I was looking for something to use and came across this. Um, I'm also going to talk about some things um, that I saw and something on YouTube that I think everybody should um, should take a look at. So uh, stay tuned, don't go away. Okay, so you can see the bowl is empty, right? And here is the soap. And if I open it up, it's, um, it's easy to just uh, scrape some off. It's not as, um, I'd say, um, loose as mine, but there you have it. I already took some right there. Just using my thumb, I'm going to place it into the bowl here and just try to locate the soap and all the areas that I normally would place my brush in when I'm doing a bowl lather. I'm going to try a little bit more here. I like to cover the entire bottom and a little bit of the sides because that's how I I lather. So, and there you have it. That's what it looks like. I'm going to put this on the side. And then we have the wet the face brush, which I'm just going to uh, wet down here. I'm going to wring out the entire brush contents into the bowl and now I'm going to do a lather so here we go I'm going to start slow trying to get all that soap and then slowly try to Now I can sense that the scent is coming out even more pronounced. Get to it. You know, there's a rule that I always tell to everyone. Um, start off with a little bit of water and then gradually build yourself up. <clears throat> and the reason for that is you can always put more water in, but you can't put take the water out once it's there. So, I think that I did agitate this a little bit longer than I normally do because of the water content, but I think we're good. It's making a tremendous amount of lava right now. And we're at the point where we're showing peaks, and this is perfect. So, <laughs> so we'll uh, bring this to the face and we'll, we'll do the shave. Okay, so uh, I have about six to seven days growth so let me wet the face. It's been a while since I shaved and I gotta get rid of this. Today is Labor Day and uh, I have a little bit of free time to do these things. 
here is the uh, lather and you can see the peaks right there that's what a good lather that's what I consider a good lather to look like with peaks like that if you can make peaks like that then you're good to go and I'm putting this on now and I can see the I can see it's going in really really well right into the beard and it's a nice creamy consistency very nice There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here is the razor. Just going to wet it down and Start the shave at the bottom here. Very nice. So, I uh, been watching something on YouTube, which I really, as soon as I discovered it, I wanted to tell everybody. But I'm sure a lot of people know about it because over two million people have already subscribed to the channel. But this channel is called. Um, Adventures with a purpose and what these guys do Their expertise is in recovering uh, Underwater like they have an underwater search and recovery team. It's just like two people I'm sure there's other people like That help them out, but the main two people um, They recover lost vehicles uh, underwater that, um, you know, people have been lost for like four, 37 years, 20 years. It all, I mean, it ranges in how many years these people have been lost and uh, they would uh, follow up with um, in little investigative work trying to locate where they should look and then uh, <clears throat> they start looking and then it's also and it usually does take place in where the authorities already looked and it could have been like multiple teams looking and they came up with nothing these guys go down and in one case a woman was missing I think I, I can't remember if it was a woman or a man but someone was missing for four years and they they went into the uh, they went into a lake or or whatever it was and within 20 minutes they found the car and that place has been looked at by other divers and other law enforcement for a very long period of time and they found it in 20 minutes. These guys are fantastic. And they really take you on the adventure in their pot in their uh, YouTube channel. At times, they do get emotional, you know, when they find someone. Because sometimes the, the person, or the vehicle that they're, they find, the person's in the vehicle.
And you know, they're bringing, they're bringing closure to a, uh, a group of people, but they're also ending the hope that someday they'll return. It has a double-edged sword. But, that's them. I think you should check them out. Just an amazing group of guys. And, uh, I did also watch something called Old. It's, um, I think it's from M. Night Shyamalan. Um, he, uh, wrote a story, I don't know if it was based on a book, but the premise is that these people go to an island, a vacation, and um, they go to a certain part of the island where they're invited to go for a little R&R, &R, and uh, they they start to age rapidly. And there's a whole entire story about why they're aging rapidly and uh, why they were brought to the island and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to spoil it for you if you wanted to watch it. But it's, it's a little slow in the beginning, but you understand like Afterwards, you know, there's a moral dilemma of, you can, you can test and, well not test, but I'm just going to say you can kill a person to save a million people. And that's the, that's the moral dilemma. Do you do that? So that's enough I'll say about that. <clears throat> and uh, the last one that I actually uh, saw and I'm looking for, I'll just use the first thing I see. Lodge 49. Because um, I don't have a uh, yellow brick aftershave with that. So, um... The last one I saw was uh, Nope, N-O-P-E, Nope, and I tried to like it, but it was drawn out, payoff wasn't that great, uh, it, I, I think when it comes to regular television you can you can watch it, but uh, I don't know. I, I didn't enjoy it. <coughs> so, with that, uh, I'm going to say this is a finished shave, and I had a great shave, and I hope you have a great shave, and I'll see you next week.